You know what Peter's preaching there? He's preaching the blotting out of the national sins of Israel at the second coming of Jesus Christ. Either that or, or the, how many of y'all think your sins ain't going to be blotted out until the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord? Not only that, read the next verse. And he shall send Jesus Christ who before was preached unto you. How many of y'all believe, listen, there ain't a preacher in America with any integrity got the guts to preach that verse today. To get up and tell a bunch of people that if they will repent, God will send Jesus Christ. That's a message to the nation of Israel. Based upon the scriptures of their prophets. Paul ain't been saved yet. Paul hasn't been called yet. God has not yet made known the mystery which he kept secret since the world began. Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since when? So Paul, so Peter is talking about things that God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Look at Romans 16, 25. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since when? Okay. Now you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. You're either going to hate what I'm saying. You're going to accept the reality of it. What Peter said he, he was preaching concerned what God had spoke by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. And Paul says that he talks about the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret since the world began. Now get this. You, my five, a five-year-old would understand that. If you're having trouble with it, it's because religion has messed your mind up. Something spoken since the world began and something kept secret since the world began cannot possibly.